hello everyone welcome to Aryan tutorials on mechanics of leads so in this video lecture uh, we are going to discuss about single column YouTube manometer uh, which is one of the types of YouTube manometers so single column manometers is mainly of two types one is vertical column YouTube manometer and the second one is inclined column YouTube manometer so these single column YouTube manometer meters are uh, just a modified form of simple YouTube manometer so the difference is here one larger reservoir is connected to the normal YouTube manometer to any one of the limbs and which is going to be connected to the pipe and here uh, the thing we need to remember is the area of the reservoir is 100 times of the area of the pipe so like that the dimensional size is maintained for the reservoir so next I would like to uh, explain uh, two types that is vertical column and inclined column so first we go for vertical column so uh, next uh, uh, the diagram so assume this is a simple YouTube manometer and uh, which is connected with the larger reservoir so which forms the single column YouTube manometer okay and uh, this uh, reservoir and the right limb is provided with uh, heavy liquid uh, assume here the mercury is provided in initial condition when it is not connected to any pipe the level of the heavy liquid in the reservoir and the right limb both should be equal so the equal level will be taking place for the single column youtube manometer and uh, this with the help of this tube it will be connected to the pipe and uh, before that we try to assume the datum line as xx at initial condition when it is not connected to the pipe and after that uh, we try to uh, assume that it is connected to the required pipe at which we need to find out the pressure of the liquid uh, which is flowing through a pipe so next uh, assume here it is connected to a pipe so at which we need to find out the pressure of this liquid so when it is connected to the pipe automatically the liquid that is the light liquid tries to enter into the uh, manometer so then when it enters it will try to apply the pressure over the heavy liquid which is present in the reservoir okay this smallest uh, drop of the liquid causes the larger amount of the rays in the right limb okay so here this much of the fall has taken place and here this much of the rays has been taken place and according to that we try to assume uh, here the pressure as pa which we need to find out and again we try to assume the axis that is again another datum line after uh, fall of the heavy liquid in the youtube manometer so I assume this is as yy and next we try to assume that uh, whatever the fall of the liquid has taken place in the reservoir as delta h and uh, the height of the liquid from the datum line initial datum line xx to the center of the pipe assume it as h1 and similarly height of the heavy liquid in the right limb from the initial datum line assume it as h2 so with the help of this data uh, we try to derive the formula for finding the pressure uh, at a point a in the pipe that we have assumed as pa so this is the data and first uh, we try to assume the density of the liquid in the pipe as rho 1 and the density of the heavy liquid in the manometer as rho 2 and next we try to write the whatever the volume drop has been taken place in the left limb that is in the reservoir smallest volume drop that can be equal to the volume raise of the heavy liquid in the right limb so whatever the amount of the volume has uh, dropped down in this uh, left limb that is in the reservoir should be that is should be equal to the volume uh, raised in the right limb okay so we try to write that so how can you find out the volume means here try to assume the area of the reservoir as a capital a okay let us write the volume drop of the heavy liquid in the reservoir is equal to volume raise of heavy liquid in the tube okay so how can we write means area into uh, height we can write it as volume so whatever the area of the reservoir into drop that is the height of the liquid drop inside the uh, left limb that is in the reservoir will give us the volume drop so that volume drop we can write as capital A area of the reservoir into how much the volume uh, of the liquid has dropped down in the left limb so that should be equal to again volume raise in the right limb that is assume small a as the pipe area into the height raised is h2 okay 
so this is the equation we can write according to the volume drop and volume raise uh, as they are both equal and delta h is equal to we can write it as small a into h2 divided by capital a okay remember this equation so with the help of this equation we can modify the equation uh, which uh, we need to derive uh, and that will give us the pressure at a point a in the pipe so next we go for analyzing the equilibrium condition of the pressure forces that is pressures again pressures also in the left limb and the right limb so already we know that pressure in the left limb is equal to pressure in the right limb so try to write pressure in the left limb so in the left limb when you consider already the pressure at a point a is acting so we can write it as pa plus and again in the left limb uh, there is a height of the liquid is taking place equal to h1 and uh, delta h so here we are taking the pressure with respect to the datum new datum line that is yy we need to consider here so according to the yy datum line we can write the pressure in the left limb that is in the reservoir we can write it as rho 1 into g into height we need to consider so how much the height we need to consider means this h1 plus delta h the total height of the liquid present in the left limb after it is connected to the pipe okay now so we are finding the pressure in the left limb that is as well as in the reservoir after connecting it to the pipe means with respect to the datum line yy only we need to consider here so similarly the height we can write it as h1 plus delta h so which is again it is came from hydrostatic law only the pressure at any point at a particular height we can uh, find it by rho g h so in the same form we have written here this rho 1 g and in place of h we have written h1 plus delta h according to the height has been taken place in the left limb and that should be equal to pressure in the right limb so pressure in the right limb again in the form of rho g h we need to write so it is equal to rho 2 g into h means we need to consider h2 plus delta h okay that is h2 plus delta h we can write it as okay these are the two pressures according to the equilibrium conditions we can make them equal so from this equation we try to write pa is equal to so pa or otherwise try to we try to open the brackets here pa plus we can write it as rho 1 g h1 plus we can write it as rho 1 g delta h and again that is equal to again here also open the brackets take the rho 2 g inside then we get rho 2 g h2 plus rho 2 g delta h and now try to write pa is equal to so pa is equal to we can write it as rho 2 g h2 plus rho 2 g delta h minus this term whatever the left terms are going to right side then they becomes negative so again we can write it as minus rho 1 g h1 minus rho 1 g delta h okay so that is equal to again we try to write the two separate terms h1 h2 as separate and delta h delta h as separate so we can write it as rho 2 g h2 plus sorry minus rho 1 g h1 so h1 and h2 terms separately we have written and the delta h terms we try to write now plus rho 2 g delta h minus rho 1 g delta h we can write it as okay in this equation again we try to take the delta h as common so in the next step try to write rho 2 g h2 minus rho 1 g h1 as it is and when you take the delta h as common here we can write it as rho 2 g rho 2 g minus rho 1 g we can write it as okay so we can write the equation like this by taking delta delta h as common so when you uh, observe this equation this delta h in place of delta h we can write it as small a area of the pipe into height of the liquid in the right limb and area of the reservoir divided by area of the reservoir so when you write this equation here so when you observe again the small a is already smallest value and again we are dividing it by the largest value which is the area of the reservoir so when you divide this this entire value becomes very smallest value so that we can assume it as a zero here also then delta h becomes a zero so when you multiply the zero to this entire term so automatically it becomes zero here okay so that means completely this element we can neglect according to the delta h as a very very smallest value so the finally we can get the equation as rho 2 g p a is equal to rho 2 g h2 minus rho 1 g h1 we can get okay 
so this is the final equation we can get uh, by the derivation process according to again uh, considering the equilibrium condition of the pressure okay this is the equation for single column youtube manometer which is the vertical column type here okay vertical column type single column youtube manometer and next we have to know uh, inclined column youtube manometer in the same single column manometer another type is inclined column youtube manometer so this is the inclined condition so according to the equipment we have to know what is the theta so the same data we can apply and when you assume the inclination as theta and the rise of the liquid that is the heavy liquid in the right limb as l then we can assume the vertical height as h2 so when you are going to use this equipment practically this l value will be known and the theta value will be known then h2 value automatically we can find by considering the right angle triangle here with the help of l and h2 so when you consider right angle triangle then h2 is equal to we can write it as l1 sin theta okay this is the opponent this opponent side we can write it as l sin theta and uh, the final pressure at a we can write by modifying the previous equation that we have derived for the vertical column type youtube manometer so that try to write the same formula p a is equal to rho 2 g h 2 minus rho 1 g h 1 okay so in place of h 2 we need to write l sin theta then it becomes the equation for the inclined column so p a is equal to we can write it as rho 2 g l sin theta minus rho 1 g h1 we can write it as so okay this is the equation for inclined column type uh, single column youtube manometer okay so with the help of these two formulas we can find out the pressure at any particular point which is very very small pressure we can find out that means the smallest drop of the liquid is taking place inside the reservoir means which is due to the smallest pressure only so for finding the very low pressures we can use a youtube manometer which is a type of single column youtube manometer either it may be vertical and either it may be inclined column and again here when you compare the vertical and inclined this inclined can give you the very less value as compared to the vertical column that means here very smallest pressure value we can find out with the help of inclined column why because uh, the smallest drop of the liquid causes here the largest rise of the liquid in the right limb okay so when you consider is as a vertical in the vertical condition we cannot be find the height value so in that condition when you give the inclination the largest raise that is the highest raise takes place that we can find out with the help of any steel rule which is adjusted to the equipment then with the help of l and theta we can find out the h2 which is the smallest value okay that smallest value by finding we can find out the smallest pressure which is the low pressure inside the pipe we can find out with the help of inclined youtube manometer so i hope you understand so if any problem is given so try to uh, write the data uh, with the help of the diagram and try to apply the equilibrium conditions only or directly we can use this formula for finding the pressure at a point at any point in a pipe i hope you understand if you still have any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts once again thanks for watching my video thank you all